Ever heard of the law of repulsion? It's like the counterbalance to the widely known law of attraction. While everyone's focused on manifesting their goals, it's equally important to repel what you don't want. But let's start with the law of attraction. Now, you already know what the law of attraction is, right? The idea behind this law is that you attract things, people, and opportunities into your life by being excited for them and anticipating their arrival. Animals use this law very well to get what they want. For example, look at our dogs. When our pet dogs ask for treats, they make it crystal clear what they want. They get excited with anticipation. They jump, wag their tail, bark, do spins, and whatever. They really show you how enthusiastic they are about the treat, which makes you excited to give it to them. And when they finally get it, they're overjoyed. It brings us so much joy to see them so happy that we want to give them more. And we do. That's the law of attraction perfectly executed. If you want something to show up in your life, get excited for it, anticipate it, and think about it and talk about it. Your magnetic, infectious, joyful energy is going to get others excited too. They'll want you to have it too because because it would bring them a lot of joy to see you so happy. And if they see an opportunity for you to get that thing you want, or if they know someone who can help, they'll rush over and tell you about it and introduce you to the right people and etc. And that's just with people. On a larger scale, the universal consciousness operates in a similar way. Just as we want to see other people happy and fulfilled because it gives us joy to see that, the universal consciousness also wants you to be happy and fulfilled because it experiences joy through us. Ultimately, it's a friendly universe we're living in. But let's say, let's say you want something to go away, like unwanted situations or circumstances. How do you repel it out of your life? Well, again, we can look at our furry friends to see how they do it naturally. When you give dogs something they don't want, like, for example, a broccoli, they make it clear they don't want it. Their excited energy stops. They look at you blankly, and then they turn their head or even their whole body away. And if that doesn't work, they just physically remove themselves slowly to a different part of the room. If you insist and drop the broccoli in front of them, they don't engage with it at all. Don't look in that direction. And then they proceed to treat it like it's invisible. And soon enough, they actually don't seem to see it because they step on the broccoli, sit on it, and completely don't care it's there. They shift their attention completely to somewhere else. And because they don't really engage with it, we take away the broccoli, throw it out in the trash. That's the law of repulsion in action. It's the same with us. If we don't want something in our reality, we should engage with it. We should redirect our focus, our attention elsewhere until the unwanted thing fades from our consciousness. But unfortunately, most people don't react this way when they want to remove something from their reality. They usually get emotional, get frustrated, angry, or sad, and then they proceed to keep thinking about it, how they hate it, and how they don't want it, and etc., and etc. Now, if you're trying to repel something out of your life, and yet you still engage with it emotionally, then you're not really repelling it. Going back to our pet and the broccoli scenario. Let's say you see your dog getting emotional about the broccoli. Um, You see it tossing it around, biting it, stomping on it, and barking and growling at it. I mean, let's be honest here. Wouldn't you think that was funny? Rather than taking away the broccoli, which is what your dog wants you to do, you take out your phone and record it because it's so funny, right? And you might even give your dog the broccoli again in the future, just to see the reaction again. At the very least, you're not going to take away that broccoli from the dog. You'd probably let your dog mess with it and play with it. 
it's the same with us. If we don't want something, but we still engage with it by being emotional about it or thinking about it, we're still keeping it in our reality. Instead, do the energetic equivalent of turning your head or your whole body away, even physically removing yourself from it, and then ignore it until it eventually becomes invisible to your consciousness. Now, don't go into denial because denial is coming from fear and fear is still engaging with it. The key here is non-reaction, indifference. Now, obviously, this is a general oversimplified explanation of this principle and doesn't apply to every single situation out there. There are many situations that require a more nuanced and proactive approach. For example, if I have a health problem, I would definitely not ignore it. I'd attend to it proactively. But even then, and even in those cases, I usually approach it without the emotional heaviness. Anyway, that was the law of attraction and the law of repulsion explained as simply as I can. Regards, Ray. Ray.